Hi students, welcome you all to the course Apparel Production Planning and Control that is APPC. So in the last session we have discussed about what is exactly the APPC that is Apparel Production Planning and Control and we have seen that what are the functions of PPC department. So we have discussed about the PPC department 10 different functions like material, methods, manpower, then method of uh, techniques and the dispatching, scheduling, loading and evaluation. So we have discussed all 10 different types of uh, functions in the apparel production planning and control. So today's session we are going to discuss about the definitions related to the production and terminologies related to the production, productivity and what is exactly the production is and what is called as the productivity and what, what is the difference between the production and productivity. So some of you people are know that or already heard about what is production and what is productivity but some some of the people are having a confusion between the production and productivity. So few people are like uh, thinking that the production is equal to like productivity but the production is different and productivity is different. So today's session we, we will see that what is exactly the production, what are the terminologies and definitions of production is there and what is exactly the productivity, how we can calculate the production and productivity and what is the difference between the production and productivity. So we will also see that what is exactly the examples of these production as well as the productivity. Okay. So let us start. What is exactly the introduction part of this production is? So just like a brief about the apparel and apparel production. So we will see in the previous like in the conventional uh, ways like very old generation like the people are thinking that the garment requirement is to support or to wear or to uh, cover our body from the atmosphere and from the like to cover the body is one of the major factor but what is happening nowadays is Nowadays, the garments are situational wear. So, situational wear nothing but like we have different uh, qualities of uh, apparels like depends upon the situation we are going to change like functional garments. So, specific application is there. So, specific application to that what is exactly the requirement of the fabric and garment is we are going to take the same fabric required for a particular application. So the functional wear like chemical production uh, fabric or like a defense application fabrics. So requirements of these two are different. So depends upon the situation, depends upon the area of application, the garments are going to be different. And along with that like in a regular basis like a casuals and party wear, casual wear, there are situation like wedding if we have. So the garment styles are going to be different. So now these garments are going to be like a endless products. So garments become an endless because there are so many situations. Depends upon the situation we are going to change the type of garment we are wearing. Okay. That is a simple thing. And you can see this like uh, some of the examples I have given like jogging or sports wear for uh, morning walk and formal wear for office and party wear for any functions and casual wear for an outing and night dresses for night. So like this, these are the some of the examples I have given here. So along with that nowadays we have functional textiles where the particular application, the garment quality and 
fabric quality requirements are completely different okay so this is regarding the simple introduction to the uh, apparel and what kind of apparels we are using in the different applications now we will see one by one what are the definitions of like production and productivity is now the production is an progress or procedure developed to transform and set of inputs elements so set of inputs to set of outputs say for example set of inputs here in the slide you can see that men machinery capital information and energy are called as a set of input elements and you can see that the set of output elements are like finished products or services in proper quality and quantity okay so that this objective of uh, uh, application is going to be fulfilled fulfilled so the production is a simple thing like production is an progress or procedure developed to transfer a set of inputs into a set of outputs so this is called as the production okay now we will see what is exactly the production system is okay what is exactly production system is production means what production means set of inputs into set of outputs so conversion of set of inputs into set of outputs is nothing but the production so what is exactly the production system is here you can observe here so i have given that inputs like material man and energy is the or the inputs and by using the plant and facilities we are producing something and the output of that product will be used in the goods or services like the end is goods or services okay so inputs we are converting with the help of plants and facilities or machinery then the output will be going to deliver so set of inputs we are using to deliver or to get an output so this is called as the production system so here material man and energy is are the inputs and these by using these outputs we are using a plant and facility to produce goods and services okay so this is called as the production system now we will see what is exactly the production system like as i described in the last slide so the production system is a set of interconnected inputs okay so interconnected inputs to output elements and is made up of three components namely inputs processes and outputs so these are the so all three together we can call as production system so inputs as well as processes as well as the output so input processes as well as outputs are called as the production system so this is the simple thing to understand what is exactly the production system is okay now the production system is a part of larger system the business form and organization so as you this is just like a simple example so production system is the a part of larger system the business form and organization okay now we'll see through the production process the value of input raw materials input nothing but raw materials is added to convert it into valuable added outputs so nothing but so set of raw materials or set of inputs are there value of inputs are there then we are converting it into value added output products okay through the production process okay so this is called as the production system the concept of production system is applicable to both production of components and production of services as well so production system nothing but not only the physical quantities production system also called as like a production of services as well services how we are servicing to the customer or individual customers okay so service sector also a production system so they'll see that what is the efficiency how much whether the delivery delivery is occurred correctly or not so is there any delays what are the delays like that this system also called as the production system so not only the production of components 
production of services also a yeah, comes under the category of production system okay then the production of any component or service can be viewed in terms of production system for example the manufacture of furniture involves inputs so i have given a, here a example so the manufacture of furniture involves inputs such as wood glue nails screws paint sand paper saw workers saw workers okay so all these are required as a input to a manufacture of furniture and after these inputs are acquired they must be stored until ready for use then after that several operations are going to be occur such as sawing nailing sanding painting so after all these we are going to prepare a output product so it may be like uh, tables or chairs okay so now what is the production system here you can understand is what is the what are the inputs are inputs are like wood glue nails so all the raw material is comes under input category and we have a operations like sawing nailing sanding painting all will comes under the like process of converting the inputs to the outputs so now output is like your tables or chair so this is the simple example for the production system so the manufacturing industries may be classified according to the nature of the process perform so what are those so you can see that the manufacturing industries are classified according to the nature of the process for perform you can see that there are three different types of process industries one is called as continuous process industries where the work flow the work will be done in 24 into 7 all days okay 24 into 7 every day the production will be going to happen now repetitive production process is there so repetitive production process also one of the process okay then intermittent process industry intermittent nothing but so intermittent nothing but like a small job works so now one job is came they are doing then after that some idle time then again till the getting of the order or job work they are going to be stop for the production system so at the time the production system become production area is becomes idle so these are the few manufacturing so the manufacturing industries are classified as per the basis of nature of process performed okay so process performed how many hours it is performing or continuously it is monitoring or continuously some production is happening then depends upon that we have categorized this manufacturing industries okay so now most of our companies will comes under the category of continuous process production systems okay and some of the small garment industries which will come under the category of like intermittent process industries okay so depends upon the size of the industry depends upon the orders which they are getting depends upon the manpower they are getting so all will be influenced uh, how this nature of process is okay then we'll see now what is exactly the productivity is what is productivity production means production means set of inputs into set of outputs simple set of inputs into set of outputs so how much is the input how much is the output so we'll get depends upon that we will get the output that is production efficiency for example we are working for example we are working at for 8 hours of time that is 480 minutes out of 480 minutes how many minutes are worked say for example if it is like 420 minutes then 1 hour is lost 7 hours only worked okay so depends upon that we can calculate the efficiency of the production or efficiency of a particular machine okay so by considering the ideal condition of the machine or ideal condition of the process 
and what are the total hours we have for the production so we are going to take it into the consideration of uh, total time in minutes or total work done and actual what is the actual production time so by that we are going to calculate the production now in the productivity case what we are doing is productivity of a production system is analogous to the efficiency of a machine now productivity is completely different so the productivity of production system is so now you have to remember what is productive production system is production system is in uh, considered all inputs processes and outputs okay now production means only specific to the machinery or specific to the process okay not considering any inputs not considering any outputs in the production now in the productivity we are going to consider all three together okay and it is analogous to the efficiency of a machine now we will have a small examples also what is and how this productivity is different than the production is now productivity may be defined as the ratio between output of wealth and input of resources of production so the ratio between output of wealth or output and input of resources of production so output to input ratio is called as a productivity so output means what output means the quantity produced and inputs are various resources employed example resources nothing but land building machinery material workers or labor so all together it will comes under the category of inputs and outputs means your quantity of the production or quantity produced say for example in garment industry how many garments you have produced at the end of the shift after 8 hours how many garments are produced now what are the inputs raw material input manpower is input energy input land input machinery input so all are your input resources so by using all input resources you are producing something that is your garment that is your productivity so the ratio between output to input is called, called as productivity okay so i think it is understand if not we'll see that the next so that you can understand the uh, through the example problem you can understand more so productivity is equal to output upon input so productivity is is equal to output upon input now we will have an, a small example so that you can understand the yield of 15 bags of paddy in one acre of land with some labor and capital is known as production for example for example the yield of 15 bags of paddy 15 bags of paddy from the one acre of land we have used some labor and capital investment it is called as a production now by improved method of cultivation what we have done is we have improved a cultivation method but with the same labor and capital so i have not changed any labor or capital okay so what i have changed is method of cultivation i have changed here now what is happening so after changing the method of cultivation the production of 20 to 30 bags of paddy is productivity so nothing but now my productivity of by using all resources and output is 20 to 30 so now you can see that what is exactly the yield of first before the implementation of uh, cultivation method or improved cultivation method 15 bags and after the implementing improved method of cultivation what we have got is 20 to 30 bags of paddy okay thus the production is efficiency production is the efficiency of the production system okay now what you can say is by same manpower by same capital investment only i have changed or improved method of cultivation 
I am getting 5 to 15 bags more than the previous case. Okay. So, how we can calculate the productivity from this we can see. Now, the production is defined as the process or pro procedure to transform a set of inputs into output having the desired utility and quality. This is the definition for production and production is a value addition process and production system is an organized process of conversion of raw materials into useful finished products. So this is about the production and productivity and productivity concern we will see. So now what is exactly the production refers the absolute outputs where the productivity is relative term where in the output is always expressed in terms of inputs. So production refers to the absolute output where the productivity is relative term where in the output is always expressed in terms of input. So productivity is completely relative term where we are going to compare or we are going to take a ratio between the output and the input. So that is called as the productivity. Okay. So increase in production. So for example, I am increasing the production may or may not be an indicator of increasing the productivity. So a simple example. For example, if we have a garment industry, small garment industry. Now in eight hours in the small garment industry, I can able to manufacture 500 with the manpower and machinery keep constant. So today I have produced 400 garments. Okay, today I have produced 400 garments. And with the same manpower and machinery, if I got tomorrow 400 instead of 400, 450 we got. Okay, so day one we got 400 garments per day with the same manpower and machinery, same quality. And the second day what? happened is same manpower and same machinery instead of 400 garments we are producing 450 garments nothing but 50 garments more now in this case i can say that productivity is increased of the industry so industry productivity was increased because input resources are same but output is increased 400 to 450 so this is the first case simple understanding okay so that is why here they have told like increase in production may or may not be an indicator of increase in the productivity. So first example you have seen right now next second example for example same garment industry today I have produced 400 garments with the same manpower and machinery and tomorrow I have increased the manpower somehow little bit I have increased the manpower and I got uh, instead of 400, 4, 430 garments I have produced. Okay. So in first day what I have done? There are like uh, some workers and machinery. And we have produced 400 garments. And in the second day I have increased more manpower I have increased. Now I got instead of 400, 420. Now can we say that productivity is increased? Absolutely not. Because you have increased the manpower in the second day. By increasing the manpower, you got the production more. So, in this case, you cannot say that it is not correct that. So, absolutely wrong. You cannot say the productivity was increased. Okay. And in the first case, like same manpower and machinery, 400. Same manpower and machinery, 450. Now, this case, you can say that your productivity is increased. Okay. So, we will have a small examples. Not overly. We will see in the screen. If the production is increased for the same input. If the production is increased for the same input, then there is an increase in productivity. So, I told first case. So, that is 400 same manpower and machinery, same inputs, second day 450 with the same inputs. So, inputs are same, instead of 400, 
450 we are producing. So, this case you can say that increase in production, productivity as well as increase in production also. Increase in production as well as increase in productivity. Okay. Then productivity is equal to production divided by resource employed. Productivity is equal to production divided by resources employed. How many resources are employed? If resources are employed more and more, production is keeping same, productivity is going to last. So that is why this formula is given here. Productivity is equal to production divided by resources employed. How many inputs or resources are employed to produce an quantity such kind quantity of output. Okay. So this is the formula for productivity. We'll see what is and when we can say that productivity is increased. Okay. Productivity is said to be increased when, when you can see here, the production is increases without increasing the inputs. Okay. Production is increasing. You are not changing or you are not in increasing any inputs. Same inputs are there, but production is day by day it is increasing. That case you can say that your productivity of industry is increased or your productivity of department is increased. And second case, the production remains the same. Production remains the same. 400 means 400 with the decreasing inputs. 400 we are producing and with the decreasing inputs means manpower I reduced. Still second day also I have produced 400. In that case you can say that productivity is increased. And third one, the outputs are increases more as compared to inputs. So, outputs increasing compared to inputs what we have provided. Okay. So, so input, if we are compared to the input, output if it is more, then you can say that the productivity is increased. So, these are the few terms when we can say that the productivity is increased in the production area or in the production department. Okay. For example, a simple example problem we can here see here. The company produces 160 kgs of single jersey fabric by consuming 200 kgs of yarn. Okay. How much? 160 kgs of single jersey fabric by consuming yarn quantity 200 kgs. Okay. Particular period. So, we are not describing any period, time period. So, for the next period. So, this is the first period. 160 kgs of fabric is produced from 200 kgs of yarn. So, in the next period, the output is doubled. 320 kgs by consuming 420 kgs of yarn. Okay. This is the second case. So, the first is 160 kgs of single jersey, 200 kgs of yarn we are using. Second case, 320 of your fabric and consuming 420 kgs of yarn. And in the third case, 400 kgs of fabric you are producing by using 430 kgs of yarn. Okay. So, you can see all these three and you can calculate here what is the first case productivity is. You can see here productivity is equal to output upon input. Now, 160 kgs upon 200 kgs. So, 160 is the fabric, 200 is yarn you are using, 200 kgs of yarn you are using to produce 160 kgs of fabric. So, in that case, what is the efficiency? Productivity efficiency is 80%. First case, that is first year, it is 80%. Now, in the second year, what we are doing is output, that is 320 kgs of fabric and 420 kgs of yarn we are using. So, you can see here 76 only. So, compared to first year, the second year productivity is reduced because hence your values are different. Input is 420, output is 320. Okay. You have to see that what is exactly the efficiency of productivity is. Okay. So, as compared with the productivity to the first year, it was reduced to 4%. Now, you can see in the third period, third, third year, that is, 400 kgs of single jersey fabric is produced by using 430 kgs of yarns only. Only what is the waste? Only 30 kgs is waste. Okay. 
so now you can see you can calculate here now what is the percentage is it is 0.93 it is not 1.0 it is 0.93 so that is 93 percent so compared to the first year and second year the productivity was increased okay so these are the example for the production and the productivity now we can see here productivity measures how we can measure the productivity so there are different productivity measures first one is called as labor productivity that is worker productivity so in terms of hours in terms of money also we can calculate so in terms of hours you can see that the productivity is equal to production in standard hours divided by actual man hours okay so production in standard hours divided by actual man hours you can get the production in terms of hours and in terms of money you can say that the total cost of output divided by number of workers involved okay so total what is the cost per output getting the output and what and how many number of manpower or workers are involved to produce the particular output so from that you can calculate the productivity that is labor productivity in terms of hours and in terms of money okay now the second one is machine productivity for example let us assume a machine was producing only 100 pieces per working day of 8 hours and the machine tools has fitted with a better tool that permitted more depth of cut and higher cutting speed now as a result of output from the machine increased to 130 pieces in a day so instead of 100 pieces a day we are going to get 130 pieces per day of 8 hours by improving the better fitting capabilities in the cutting machine the cutting depth and the cutting speed we have changed so that we can increased instead of 100 pieces per working a working of 8 hours we are getting 130 pieces per day of 8 hours so 30 pieces are increased per day so now from this you can calculate the percentage that is 30 percent of productivity is increased okay so you can see the formula 130 minus 100 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 is equal to 30 percent that is called as the productivity improvement 30 percent of productivity was improved now you can see this is the formula for the machine productivity and you can also calculate the productivity in terms of material so for example a worker cut 10 metal discs for a given length of metal pay per hour okay 10 metal discs per 1 hour and a skilled worker by improving the method can cut 12 pieces per 1 hour then in this case productivity of material has increased 12 to nothing but 10 to 12 so 2 is improved so that is 20 percentage of productivity is improved okay so this is the productivity uh, formula for material productivity and you can also calculate the overall productivity of the machine or overall productivity of the department or industry by this consideration it is the ratio of total output to, to the sum of all input factors so it is the total output to the sum of all input factors thus a total productivity reflects the joint impact on the all inputs in producing the output so all factors all factors are improve uh, influencing to produce an output okay so overall output productivity we can calculate simply like a profit divided by capital involved so what is the capital cost involved what what is the profit you got from the particular quality so you can calculate the overall productivity by using this formula and these are the measures for the productivity total this section we have discussed about what is exactly the production is what are the definitions of production what are the productivity what is productivity how we can calculate the productivity when we can say the productivity is increased 
okay what are the examples for the increasing productivity and when we can say that the productivity is increased and finally we have discussed about the productivity measures in terms of labor material method okay overall productivity all we have discussed okay so this is about the production and productivity definitions and terminologies which we which is going to be used in the apparel production department or apparel industry so in the next class we have we will discuss about the functions of production department so till then thanks for listening bye